Good afternoon, Word of Life family and friends. Pastor Troy, just coming back on here for a quick word break. I want to encourage you today to stay true to who you are. Prayerfully, you've been standing the word. Prayerfully, you've been meditating on what God is saying. I know, once again, there's a lot of people speaking right now, but it's important for you to listen to what saith the Lord. You know, what we say out of our mouths really matters. You guys hear me talk about this all the time, but death and life from the power of the tongue. So you have the ability to speak something good over yourself or something bad. If that's your choice, why don't you speak something good? Now we know God's promises are yes and amen, and he's promised us long life, health, prosperity, all kinds of things. You can find those promises in the word of God, but what you've got to do is say, you know what? I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with what God said, and I'm not going to change my mind. I want to encourage you today to stay with your confessions. Don't change your confession, regardless of what we're facing. We have a scripture that works uh, well for that. It says in Hebrews 10.23, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that is promised. God is faithful. So we've got to hold fast to our profession of faith without wavering. So that means I'm going to keep saying the same thing. That's right. You need to say, I'm going to keep saying the same thing. I don't care what it says on the news. I don't care what everybody else is saying. I'm going to keep speaking the same thing. I'm going to keep speaking the same thing that uh, by his stripes I'm healed. I'm going to keep speaking the same thing that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I'm going to keep speaking the same thing. No evil shall befall me and no plague shall come nigh my dwelling. I'm going to keep speaking the same thing. Don't change your confession. Another uh, scripture that we can meditate, Hebrews 10, 35 in the NLT, it says, so don't throw, it says, do, so do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. So don't throw it away. See, you've got a great reward coming and you cannot, under any circumstances, throw that away. Because if you throw it away, then now you've just given up. But God says, I've got the best in store for you and your family. So don't throw it away just because of what you may have heard on the news. No, you stick with it. Hold fast to this confession of faith. And so I'll read it again. So don't throw away this confident trust. How many of you have confident trust in the Lord? Just say amen right there. God will see you. You have confident trust. You know what God can do. God's already done some things for you. I know God's moved in your life. He's moved in mine. So let's keep trusting him. Remember the great reward it brings to you. So I'm greatly rewarded if I continue to trust God and I don't just throw away my confidence. I'm going to be rewarded because I have chosen to believe God. Then it says here, patient endurance is what you need now. Boy, that's powerful. I know we don't like being patient, but this is what we need right now. Patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. See, if you're patiently trusting God, you're going to do his will even in these times. When you are tempted to speak something negative, you're not going to do it because you know that that's not God's plan. That's not God's best for you. And so you have patient endurance, even in the midst of trials and tribulations, uh, sickness, disease, all this stuff going on, even hearing reports of death and all that, you have patient endurance. So you're going to stay the course. You're going to continue to speak what God tells you to speak. He says here, so now I'm going to continue. You will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all he has promised. Glory to God. Don't you dare miss out on what God has promised for you. So speak the word. Speak the word over yourself. Do not reverberate the negativity. Don't echo that negativity. It's, it doesn't need any help. It's already going rapidly. So let's be those that are sticking to the word and that we're not going to change our confession no matter what, and we will see God come through for us. Remember, God loves you. Keep trusting him. Keep believing. And we will come out on top of this thing. All right? Well, praise God. I love you guys once again. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Be blessed. In Jesus' name.